All right, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to solder. Here's our map gas. Some people use propane gas. I like map gas, it gets just a tiny bit hotter, but not so hot that it's gonna melt your other fittings and stuff as long as you take protective measures to cool things down. And there's some spray gels that you can spray on to cool things down. Another way is to wrap cold, wet rags around parts a little distance from what you're working on to prevent the heat from going into other areas of what you're working on. This here is a heat shield, a flame shield. Obviously, you can see it's uh, brand new. No, it's uh, pretty used here, pretty beat up, but it's still gonna do a trick to protect anything from getting burned for, for the most part. Obviously, common sense is gonna do a lot more to keep anything from getting burned. And this here's an inspection mirror. It's good for uh, looking at the other side of what we're working on where we can't see to make sure that our solder has filled the whole joint through its capillary action. This here is a little soldering kit. I'm getting a little low on my solder there, but that's all right. This is flux. It prevents oxides from forming inside the uh, joint as we heat up the copper. I've got a couple cutters here. This one's pretty nice. It's got this quick release, and you can you know, adjust it and then tighten it up with a dial. This here comes in really handy wire brush. You can pre-sand the inside of a pipe with this part and uh, the outside of a pipe with, with these is three quarter inch and half inch. You know, two different sizes here. Works a lot faster than sandpaper. Soldering, you really got to sand your joint really good and uh, this is just such an easy way to sand it really quick. I'll show you here in a minute. Here's our new hot water supply lines today. I'm re repairing a hydronic supply line. Got a leak on one. The other thing is I've got a, two pairs of channel locks here ready to uh, tighten up my fittings when I'm finished. A plan B here, another option, This is these are shark bite fittings. I don't know if you've seen these yet, but it's pretty neat. Uh, once you have a line cleaned, it's a no solder union. You can stick this thing right on the pipe and it grabs it there and it won't leak or anything. It's got this release deal that you can release it if you need to. It's a solderless fitting, so you can just slip it on and be good to go as long as it's the right size. It's my plan B. If, if I get stuck and the solder's not taken or there's uh, water in the lines or any other various things, this is a good plan B. Um, these are kind of expensive, 10 bucks a piece or whatnot. Today I've got a leaking hydronic supply line. Uh, it's leaking right here, and so I'm going to re-solder a, uh, a new line on here. This is a brass fitting, so I'm soldering copper uh, into brass. Uh, first thing, I'm going to take the union apart right here so that we can drain all the water out. And obviously, I've got my water turned up bit of water leaking down here, so I'm gonna use my rag as much as possible to catch what's in there. So the other side of this is just a, a threaded compression union, uh, very much like a uh, hose water bit would be. trapped in there starting to drip out as we let air get into the other side. Woo! Got my handy bucket here to catch the water. <laughs> I can clean up whatever I need to later. Anyway, I'm gonna lower this down and let it catch all the water. Pre-bend my new water supply line. Here's my new one. Um, I want to make sure it's got this uh, gasket uh, inside here, um, so that we can get a good compression seal on the other side. Um, on this end, we're going to cut off the first. On this end, we're going to cut off the first portion. This side's too big. We want this side right here. So I've got this. Let me show you here. Got my cutter here. So I'm just gonna seal this 
set like this. And give it a couple turns. to um, unsolder piece. You want to wear eye goggles when you're using the torch here, just in case any solder splatters or whatnot. The other thing is, we probably want to pre-bend our new line to kind of mimic what we have going on there. Um, we want to avoid kinking this at all. New line's a, a bit shorter, which is okay. We just need to get it there, which seems almost about right. There we go. That should do it good. We can fine tune it later. All right. There's our new one. And we're going to take the uh, old one and kind of just bend this down so it's, it's uh, lower than the... Uh, In the level of the, the deal. I guess that's all right. Anyway, we're going to remove this now, heat it up, and pull it apart. Anyway, 
anyway, now we're cooled off here. And uh, I've got this water abrasive emery cloth, see here? Just pull off a little string out of there. And we're going to sand this up real good. Moisture in there. We don't want any moisture in there. That's not good. Let's hope our leak on this when we solder this. If it does, we're not going to be able to get a good solder joint. I may have to actually turn the water off outside, which is what I think I'm going to do because this thing is. Just try to be stubborn. Gotta do that and then come right back. Don't want any water in there. Okay, come back. Clean it up later. As I start to um, heat this up, I should be able to push it in a little further. And I've got a nice wet rag here. Um, should really wear gloves when doing this, but. Anyway, I'm just going to get it done. Oh, should get my solder ready too. There it is. And unroll a nice little loop. Okay, here we go. Heat up our fitting. Okay, I got this one all soldered up. It's uh, not very pretty. Not the nicest solder job I've ever done, but we'll see here. Let me put it all back. It's compression fitting. It's pretty much like a hose bib. It's got a little rubber washer in there. Just tighten it down real good. Just quarter turn fast tight. We should be in there real good. I sort of want to bend these a little bit. I don't want these rubbing right against each other. It's not good there. There we go. I'm going to hold the uh, bottom part with one pair of channel locks and move the other part over. So we don't twist anything we don't want to twist. Let 
just want to go a quarter turn past tight. It's nice and snug. Turn our water on and check the leaks. This one went a bit rougher than I anticipated. The ball valve here was leaking just the tiniest bit. So when I was trying to solder it, of course the solder wouldn't take any kind of water in the line. It's, uh, it's going to cause the solder not to take. It's going to boil out and cause these little air leaks uh, as the solder tries to push its way out. So what I had to do was turn off the boiler. This is on a boiler system and drain all the water. Um, so I've got to do this repair kind of quick because I've got people without hot water right now. Anyway, looks like we've got it all dried out here. That's really good. Now I can go ahead and close the ball valve and make this repair here. Now what we want to do is use plenty of this paste flux. I put it all around the uh, the new fitting as well as I'm going to go ahead and put it inside here. Um, the kit comes with this little brush here. We're just going to brush it on in there pretty liberally. And then go ahead and coat our new fitting also. a really rough one but it's all been there all soldered in not uh, my most beautiful soldering job ever might even uh, win my ugliest soldering job ever but considering how rough it was uh, I'm happy this is not leaking good to go